clever. I, this is going to be an obvious um, answer, I'm sure. I love those. <laughs> How does it feel to see you know, your babies? It's people? horrible. I, hate it. <laughs> no, I, I, I almost teared up when Glenn showed up for the first time on that screen. It was just, it's, it's really kind of amazing. Is it, is it coming to fruition kind of how you played it out in your head? Or? No, I, it's, it's working out better than I could have ever imagined. Um, just to see everything that Frank and Gail have put into this and, and how the actors have done their work and everybody on the crew and Greg Nicotero and uh, just to see the amount of support that AMC has put behind this show. Uh, I never could have expected things to go this well. I really couldn't, I, I, never in a million years could I have dreamed that it would have gotten to this level, honestly. About uh, adapting Walking Dead as a TV series and not as a, as a film. Uh, well, a, the nature of what Robert has done, is, it lends itself, I think, brilliantly to a, an, an attenuated, long-term, serialized treatment. Um, I, I'd had it in my mind that it would be great to do a, 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 a series set in the zombie apocalypse, because I've been a zombie fan since I saw Night of the Living Dead when I was a kid. And I stumbled over Robert's... Uh, you know, material, and I thought, oh my God, this is this is hand putting in my hands the very thing that I've been thinking about for for some years. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't want to do a zombie movie, I don't think, because it's been done and done really well. And, and so why um, why go and and kind of repeat the moves of, of other filmmakers who've done it and, and done it better? You know, but this feels very fresh to me because it's it's a it's a uh, it's a different way into the material, you know, to do this as a serialized thing, following this ensemble of marvelous characters uh, over a period of time, as long as they let us do it. Uh, that gets me very excited. Okay. What was it like working with, uh, you know, these characters you created in a completely different medium? I, it was really fun to go back and, and you know, because a lot of these characters are dead in the comic book series. <laughs> so uh, it was a lot of fun to go back and spend some more time with them and uh, also get to learn how to work in a new medium. It was very uh, very thrilling for me to have to kind of find new ways of telling a story and, and work in a different way than I'm accustomed to. And uh, I'll be honest, I hope to do it again. So I mean, I, I had a good time with it. So what is, uh, what is your favorite zombie movie, if you've got one? Me? We'll go down the, we'll go down the road. Uh, I, I, hands down, my favorite movie, my favorite zombie movie is uh, Day of the Dead. I, I like I like the bunker. Uh, I think it's uh, some of the best zombies. Uh, Greg Greg Nicotero was actually uh, there for that, worked on that. Uh, and he, plays, he plays one of the soldiers. Yeah, he's the guy that grows the pot. Yeah. <laughs> he's also the animated head that uh, is severed and uh, moving its mouth and stuff. But yeah, that one that one's the, the nastiest, and I, I don't know, I really like that one. Not a living dead. <laughs> yeah, the one that started it all. I love hearing you say Day of the Dead because that usually gets dissed, and I think it's criminally underrated. I think it's an awesome picture. <laughs> and it's got that enclosed pressure cooker yeah. thing that I dig so much. Uh, so that would probably be, uh, that would be way up there for me. But I gotta, I gotta go with the original, the best, the first and the best, Night of the Living Dead. I mean, just, just, just the image of the, you know, the, the dead people standing around the farmhouse waiting for a bus, apparently. It's just so creepy. <laughs> it's great acting. It's, it's, too. Oh, it's really, yeah. It's really and, and major props to uh, Shaun of the Dead, also. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we will be on Romero. And, 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 and Dead Alive, Peter Jackson. <laughs> We could go on. <laughs> I also love the Danny Wood pictures. Those are awesome. Yeah. Though they're not really zombies, I know. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I still love them. Yeah, we joked around uh, a few months back, uh, and I asked you, I'm going to ask you again for the New York folks here, uh, would you say zombies are the new vampires? Zombies are better than vampires. <laughs> I'm not sure that I want to. Um, 
Dragons in a Global Vampire suck. <laughs> that might be I, I hope they're not the new vampires, because I used to love vampires, I, you know, but I, I'm just so... I'm, 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 yeah, I'm worn down now. I hope I, hope I don't get that way with zombies ever, because uh, that, that would be sad. They're too sparkly. They're too sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've never seen you like this before, right? <laughs> because he's here with a few thousand of his friends. That's right. That's right. So, Frank, I want to ask It won't you. go any further than this, right? Of course. <laughs> so, Frank, is there a, a, a major storyline from the books that you're really eager to, to get your hands on? Can't wait. I can't wait to get to Michonne. Striding, striding out of the wasteland with a samurai sword on her back. With a couple of zombies, armless zombies chained to her. Uh, I just, I can't wait to get there. It's like a spaghetti western slash samurai ultra cool black chick. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like yeah, it's like, it's like the Pam Greer role, sort of, you know, it's like a 70s Pam Greer with zombies chained to her. I mean, what, what's not the like? So when do you think we'll be seeing that? Season seven. So tune in. <laughs> if you like the show, make sure we get a few season pickups. <laughs> uh, Robert, how about you? Do you have uh, Do you have a favorite character that you like to write for? And, and if you do, why? Uh, favorite character? Well, I, I like writing Rick, obviously. Uh, you know, he'd be dead by now. Uh, 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 and, and there are a lot of characters I miss, which is something I'm really excited about the television show for. Like, I, I really, I hope that we get to see Axel again. Yes! Be nice to see Axel again. Um, I honestly miss the governor, which yes! is awful. But, uh, like, I, 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 love, I love that this show exists so that we can get back to that and, and maybe see those, those people again. Oh, that's the, that's the other thing I can't wait to get to. And the governor and Herschel. And yeah, I was just, that's all great stuff. And that is so, I mean... I go back to prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. Hey, brother. He told me when I first talked to him, he was like, I don't really like this comic book, but it's got a prison in it, so I feel like I need to... <laughs> <laughs> you know, bring up, that's a great story about the prison, and I had to put the book for a little while when we got to that point because it was just so intense and you know how far is pushing how far can you push the boundary on, on television how far can you go farther than you think yeah. I, I, what we saw just now is nothing there's way cooler stuff like in the show that just blows me away so yeah I think people are going to be really shocked with just the level of you know things that we'll be able to get away with <laughs> there is no holding back <laughs> yeah.